This is a question I get literally every day in my men's health clinic, and that is what to do about the refractory period. If you're not familiar with this term, it's basically a period of time after ejaculation when a man isn't able to become aroused again or achieve another orgasm. And despite what many people think is reality, it's actually fiction. Pornography is not reality, and it just picks unrealistic uh, scenarios and leave many men often frustrated. So I want to share a little bit of science behind this in the video. You can look at the description below the video if you want the full text version of it, but I'm just going to share this in abbreviated fashion. So why does this happen? Partly due to hormonal changes. There's release of hormones like oxytocin and prolactin, and this is believed to play a role in the refractory period by inhibiting arousal after ejaculation. Prolactin levels, which is also a substance produced by the brain, can also rise after orgasm, and it's believed in some studies that this also contributes to the refractory period. The nervous system has feedback. If you've ever heard the term point and shoot, that that relates to parasympathetic and sympathetic. So point is the erection part of it and shoot is the ejaculation and that's the sympathetic part of it. So the parasympathetic is sort of a rest and digest, which doesn't really seem to make a lot of sense in describing this in terms of sexual function, but that's just the, uh, the, the um, structure of how the nervous system works and functions in the downstairs department, if you will. And so the, the duration of this really varies and this also can apply to women as well, but to a lesser degree. And we think that it's probably due to partly age, partly hormonal factors, and also neurologic changes that occur with aging. And so the concept is what to do about it. There's some evidence, although somewhat weak, that phosphodiesterase inhibitors, you know, Viagra, Cialis, Sildenafil, all those can help shorten the refractory period in some men, but it's not conclusive. Obviously maintaining overall good health with exercise, diet, cholesterol management, all those things can play a role in sexual function. And then there are some techniques like edging or utilizing toys or other methodologies that can help uh, regain stimulation and arousal and erection after ejaculation. So the important point to take home here is that this is normal. A lot of men are under the impression that uh, they should be able to perform like a porn star and that by taking ED medications they can have a persistent ongoing erection and continue to perform for hours on end. The reality is that a persistent erection, particularly one that's painful, can damage the penis and cause permanent scarring. This condition is called priapism and uh, fortunately it's not super common but it is a known risk factor for any erectile dysfunction medication and also a variety of other over-the-counter cough and cold medicines can also be linked to priapism as well. So I hope you found that helpful. Cheers.